So here we are again. Corporate grunt. Hashtag the Audi Army. There's nothing like uh, making you do some work, like getting a warning slash fix a ticket from the local PD. So uh, if you end up with a broken or a uh, out tail light, and you're not sure which one it is, find an amazing assistant with her popsicle and uh, ask her very nicely, can you please put your foot on the rear brake so I can see which light is out? Since the officer didn't want to tell me earlier today. All right, let's see here. No, left one looks perfectly fine. Oh, there's the culprit. All right, so let's walk you through how to actually go ahead and change out your rear brake light. So, here we are. I'm actually using, since we're doing some home remodel here on a Project Tacienda, I'm uh, got a paint scraper. I'm gonna take this paint scraper here. First, all we're gonna do is lift this up very carefully without getting any paint. I mean, last thing we need is to take some paint off this beautiful machine. And there you go, comes off right away. From there, there's this deal right here. All you need to do, find a flathead, which we could use as a flathead for this, but I don't know, you know, corporate grunt, Audi Army, that's how we do things. In here, you'll find a little deal and a screw. And so what we want to do is we actually want to unscrew this. So we take our flathead, say when we use to gently do this, we just put in there and we turn. So once we're done unscrewing it, simply just take it out, put in your trunk, got plenty of room here. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna have the, the lights. It usually helps. Went down to the local parts store right across the street and picked these up. But now that that's out, this is actually pretty easy. So we have our whole assembly here. And just by undoing this one piece right here, you'll notice, wow, it's already loose. And now being careful this flap here, cause all this is is just a piece of rubber. Nice little, uh, Audi feature here, keeps things nice and quiet, all the water out. So all you need to do is pull on it, move over to the side just a little bit, get a little bit of clearance in there, and it pulls right out. You wanna take it out, but before you go too far, make sure that you undo this one clip. So, got the clip, got your fingers. Oh, just like that. And uh, if you're anything like me, you're gonna wanna clean this out cause that's just disgusting. Especially you got like mosquitoes and stuff in there. Anyways, so what we're gonna do, now that we have the housing, is you're gonna find five screws. One, two, three, four, and five. Simply take the flathead out of your screwdriver or grab a whole Phillips if you don't have an interchangeable one and put a Phillips head in there and just go to work and take all five of those out. Easy breezy. And uh, one thing you'll notice as you start to do undo these is you don't actually take them all the way out. You know, being this is an Audi and not like your boy's BRZ or something like that, they actually stay pretty well. Once we have these all nice and loose, right? We got all five of them here, all nice and loose. All we gotta do is firmly grab the center of it and gently extract it from the majority of the housing. Now for us, we already know which one it is and it's this one and well, if you compare that to that or even these ones, you know, it's quite a difference. So all we need to do is turn it just a hair. You actually look in here, you'll see a little bit of a little detent in here. Yeah, right there, right? So that actually slides in to this hole right here. And so you rotate it and you just pull out. Now you don't want to add too much pressure because the last thing you need is to, well, go to the hospital. I mean, this is the Audi Army, corporate grunt. So 
things happen. I mean, I w- wouldn't be the first time I went to the hospital, right? But uh, yeah, you just simply rotate it just a hair. You'll feel it come loose from the ha- its housing. And pulley, ge- gent out, pulley. Pulley, pulley, gent out. Gently pull out. See, I, I can speak uh, American English, I swear. Um, I mean, after all, it was the U.S. Army that I was in for several years. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so you just take this light out and uh, let's go and dig this out of the package. Woohoo! So now we have both of them out of L package. Yeah, you know you like the package. And uh, all we're going to do is take this, find that little detent that we were looking at earlier. Right, right there. There we go. Insert. Don't pull out, just insert. Right there. You're going to press in a little bit and rotate it. Oof, magic. And since it came, the package came with two of them. It's a first, normally it's all by itself. Um, we decided we're going to replace both of them. So again, Find that detent, find the slot, just push in gently, rotate it, and you're golden. Now, while we're in here, we're going to check out these other lights. Now, that one looks fine, that one looks fine. There's a little bit of smoking on that one, but it's still functioning, and well, I only bought this package, so uh, what we're gonna do now is just flip this back over. And before we insert it back into the major housing here, the primary housing, let's take a look at the uh, connector here. Let's make sure all the, don't press too hard in here, obviously. Let's make sure that all the connections are there, none of them loose. There's no major oxidization or anything horrible going on in there. And uh, while we're doing that, We'll check out the plug here where it actually goes into. Wow. Pretty clean for being in 2011. I mean, it's almost 10 years now. Kind of crazy to think. But uh, anyways, we'll take our lights. So the primary housing is upside down, if you haven't noticed. So we're going to flip this. And what you're going to want to notice is on some of these screws, I think it was this one actually was the main one that I had an issue with here on the corner. When you are mating... These two back up. You wanna make sure that the screw is nice and straight and up and down. Very important to be straight. So that way it slides right back into the hole. And you wanna make sure that it's kind of the same thing on your other screws. And then all we're gonna do from there, now it's nice and flush and in the primary housing here, is we're gonna take our Phillips one more time. And instead of unscrewing it, we're actually going to screw it back in now. So after you screw these nice and tight in the hole there, all five of them, one, two, three, four, and five. Make sure you're nice and tight. We're gonna grab our whole housing assembly here. Let's grab the whole house, all right? We'll come back over here. And the first thing you wanna to remember to do is grab your connector, locate on the housing where it goes, and you're gonna to wanna to connect it right back in there. Notice you got the detent on, or the nipple on uh, the housing assembly. You got the release there on the plug itself. Make sure those are aligned. Just push it right on there. From there, don't forget our amazing Audi factory equipment here. And uh, make sure that you get this in there and on the outside of that you want to firmly get it into place here generally it's best to use two hands 
makes life just a little bit easier. Essentially, you get it all up in there nice and tight. And notice though, if you're having any issues, what you wanna do is you wanna come back here to the housing, the corner of this, you'll notice that little ball right there. And if you look up in here, you can actually see, you look kind of closely here, right there. And so that ball essentially starts here on the outside and then slides in there. And by sliding that ball into there, that's how you're going to get this nice flush feel against your housing assembly and the body panels of your car. So from there, we're going to come back over here, grab this piece. This obviously is still down. We're going to insert it all the way into there. And to get it started, before we even grab the screwdriver, I like to finger, finger it a little bit. So using two, maybe three fingers here, to kind of get it lined up, start actually screwing it a little bit. And what you'll notice as you're doing this is it actually is pulling the housing tighter against the body of the car. So using your two or three fingers here, so it gets nice and tight. Then we're gonna grab our screwdriver, getting our armor to flip the Phillips. For our flathead, take our flathead, put it back in there, and continue to screw. Once you're happy with how tight it is, you wanna make sure you plug this back up. I mean, after all, this is an Audi. It's not a, your homeboy's BRZ. And then we grab this here, looking at the, after we clean this up, obviously, um, we're gonna take a look at these little bracket pieces essentially it's going to go back like that so we have this top one that goes into here and we have the two bottom ones go into here and here and so let's go clean this off and put this back in so now you'll notice how nice and tight it is on there it ain't coming anywhere and uh, notice how clean it is right so didn't want to wipe the entire thing off yet but the important part is nice and clean nice and secure Housing's not going anywhere. It's nice and flush. No major gaps. And, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is how you change your rear taillight assembly and your rear brake light. And you get those cops who are just out there doing their job off your back. Have a wonderful day. And support the blue line, the green line, the red line. All lives matter.